This pandemic has really sucked, and it ain't over yet. From the outset, we said it was going to be a dress rehearsal for a more turbulent world. Well, the bad news is, no kidding, it's going to be a more turbulent world. But the good news is we've now discovered how to thrive in that turbulence. And we found that in every company, there are heroes who have discovered new ways of working to meet the needs of our customers. And these customers need them to thrive in turbulence. There are three lessons we learned, but there are also counterforces that are going to try to make you snap back to old ways of working. All right, lesson one, go vertical. Decide a strategic option and then get stuff done with your customers. We have to do things that matter to our customers and the heroes in our company that serve them. Lesson two, master business building. When we know the routine, we just have to get management out of the way and empower and trust our people to get on with delivering the business. But when we don't know what we're doing and we have to build a new solution for our customers, well, hell, let's do that entrepreneurial agile stuff and actually do things differently. Business building can't be a hobby anymore. We need to become as good at it as we are in running the business. Let's create the right routines and devote the right amount of time and energy for the new solutions our customers need. Lesson three, defang the energy vampires. Guys, we know what to do here. During the pandemic, we cut out all that bureaucratic junk, that stuff that sucks the energy from your heroes and your organization. And for a moment in time, the CEO and leadership team were connected directly to our heroes. We actually talked about them as essential workers. And there was a moment in time when we promised we would come out of this pandemic creating a new firm that empowered those heroes and didn't listen to the energy vampires in our organization. Well, now we're coming out of that pandemic and we're gonna find out who's keeping their promises and who are giving in to the forces that are trying to make us break them. Each of these forces is natural and understandable, but we've got to fight them. Counterforce one, humans like hugs. Of course we have a desire to get back to the office. Of course people want to get back together. We've been locked away in our homes. Of course we want to come back to work. We want to hug, we want to meet, we want to talk, but we can't go back to the office as it was. Yes, we need to get together physically, but let's remember what we learned. We can mobilize expertise from anywhere on the globe in a second to help our customers. So when we come back to the office, let's do it for the things we really need. Counterforce two, virtual meetings aren't always virtuous. Look, we are losing the social capital that binds us. We sit at home grinning at our screens and we're missing out on some really important stuff. We call it A-cubed, C-cubed. Virtual meetings don't give you apprenticeship, affiliation, appreciation, creativity, collaboration, and commitment. We need to work on these things in person, and that's why we should get back to the office. Not to return to the old ways, but to focus maniacally on these six things. Counterforce three, old shoes are comfortable. We gotta resist the urge to return to bureaucratic ways. But don't default to what you did just because you always did it. We're gonna have to learn new things, and these muscles are tough to build. It's hard to unlearn. It's hard to discover new ways to empower our heroes. And let's be really frank. Some of those that want to return to old ways, they're our dear friends. Their programs and systems were turned off during the pandemic, and they want them turned back on. But when is it ever right to turn on a bureaucratic process to make the bureaucrat feel better? You made a promise to create a company that empowers the heroes that got us through the pandemic, and they showed us the way. Go vertical, master business building, get rid of the energy vampires. But of course, now the counterforces are working against you. It's understandable, but your job is to say no. We have to prepare for a more turbulent world, a world our heroes have proven they can navigate. Our job, no, your job, is to give them the firm they deserve. 